world as we can see here and the way we've done this and we you know we went back and forth on exactly the right way to do it uh, but the way you will create routes in Horizon 4 is by driving them and basically painting the blue line down uh, wherever you want uh, to, to go and then at any point you can drop a checkpoint you can have a look at it you can adjust it uh, left and right uh, and when you're happy with it you drive on and that's basically the fundamentals of how you create uh, a route you're going to drive the route uh, you're going to drop checkpoints where you want to make sure that the, the driver tires or the other players are definitely going to have to go um, and then you drive on and you create whatever route uh, as we can see here on road or off uh, you want to uh, across this massive open world in Horizon 4. I love the fact that you're actually using the in-game engine. You're, you're actually driving the route and painting it down like that rather than just using it on a little map or something like that. I, I think that's great. Exactly. And it, it turned out when we looked at it to be by far the most intuitive way to do it. You know, when you're looking at it top down, um, you don't really have an understanding of exactly what's going on. But, but here you can feel what's happening, uh, what the car is doing, uh, you know, wh wherever you are in the world. Um, and you have a much better idea of the race that you're, you're trying to create for yourself and also not don't forget for other people as well because I think people are going to love creating and sharing uh, using this tool. Now tell us what's happening here right because this is when you're you're backing up and making a change. Exactly so this is your um, this is your edit uh, feature here so you know if you're not happy with uh, where you set a checkpoint for example or the route you've taken or maybe even just how you took a corner um, you can use the Forza Rewind system you just hit Y uh, and rewind, and as you rewind past checkpoints, obviously they will disappear and allow you uh, a do-over. You know, you can just go and, 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 uh, and tackle it again. Um, what's going to happen right here um, is that we overcook slightly going into this corner. That's not much of a line for anyone, so we can just take it right back. Obviously, that uh, checkpoint gets deleted, um, and really what we do here is just slow down a little bit and draw a much nicer racing line through this particular corner. We're going to drop a checkpoint at the other side. Um, and uh, it's a better racing experience for the people that eventually come to race this route. Now you've got total freedom to drop these checkpoints wherever you want in the map. You're not tied to roads or routes or anything like that, right? Absolutely, yeah. And uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking how big of a route can I create? Um, the answer is actually in the top right hand of, of, of your screen there. Um, you've got 40 miles to play with. <laughs> Um, which will take you around the world a couple of times. Right. Um, so, so plenty of, uh, of route there to create. Um, and I think that's going to be more than enough to allow people to be really uh, creative, really imaginative. And yeah, like, like you say, you can go literally anywhere. You can uh, drop checkpoints pretty much anywhere. You can drop checkpoints on the roofs of houses if you can get your car up there. So I think what I'm most looking forward to from this feature is you know, like with the other creativity tools we have in the franchise, like, you know, with paint jobs and, and tuning and photography, um, I can't wait to see how creative people are and how they surprise us with the things they make. And, and, and I noticed you're using a rally fighter here. What's the significance of the car you're using to, to create this route? Um, to be honest, for the end for the end user, you know, for the people who come to play your your route, pretty much nothing. You know, right. they can they can race it in whatever they want. That's the kind of the, the, the horizon way. Um, I think we've used this car because there's some cars that are just great to use as a painting tool rather than you know particularly for driving. Uh, you want something that's really controllable. You want something that can deal with all the terrain if you're going to take it off road. Um, this rally fighter is a pretty cool uh, example. But you know, I think we're going to go back and we're going to race this in a completely different car. Um, as obviously you can when you then use the blueprint feature all up to create and share your event. Now this is cool as well, so the, the route here is, is onto the train tracks, right, which adds another element to which, this route. Which is typically inadvisable for a race route, <laughs> but you can do it because you can, do, you can take it pretty much anywhere. The fun thing about that is, um, you know, that, that train runs pre pretty much irrespective of, you, of the ra races you create, so mm. I, I guess there's a, there's a possibility that the, the train might turn up when you're racing that or when other people are racing it at some other time. All right, so now we're properly setting up the route here. We've, we've uh, put, uh, placed our finish point. Yep. Talk us through what's happening now. Okay, so this is us packaging that, that route, if you like, uh, into an event which we can then test out and then share. Uh, so the blueprint, uh, the blueprint functionality that, that we've had still remains. The big addition is that now you can create, you can choose your route from, from any of the ones that you've created at this location. So those are others that we've done previously we're going to settle on the one that we just uh, we just created a second ago and now you can go in and edit the settings you can actually blueprint this out of the season you're in so we're going to make this winter when we created it in summer you can set the weather conditions whether it's rolling or static um, 
and also as always you can create uh, you can name your event uh, so that people will know it when uh, when it's shared um, uh, and, and you know people will know it's yours so that poster is kind of the identity for the the event that you've just created and then what we ask you to do is we, we ask you to test it uh, with the drive avatars to make sure that you can get round a route that that you can't get round probably isn't much good for for then sharing but uh, that's what we're going to see now we're going to see this event as we uh, as we blueprinted it um, so it will look kind of different from what we just saw uh, it's going to be in winter rather than summer so the roads are uh, in this part of the map not quite snowy but a little bit frosty uh, this is right by the coast uh, on the on the east side of the map um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see a bit of snow we'll see a bit of frost and ice uh, as well Hi, so this is super cool so you've created your route now you're test driving it for the first time how do you then go ahead and share it with your your friends in the wider community so once you finish this particular step like really just testing that it is completable which is kind of a the, the bare minimum requirement of a, of a race yeah. um, you then get to share it and there's some really cool um, curation functions that we've added in um, this time uh, anybody can like or indeed dislike an event um, so it's, it's super important for you if you want your, your event to bubble up that you know people get to play it people like it um, and then whenever you enter a, a race or whenever anyone enters a race um, on the right hand side uh, after the Horizon Presents event uh, there will be a, a folder called uh, Community Events which will contain all the events that the community have created from that start point. Um, it will be subdivided into you know, trending events, uh, best of today, best of this week, best of this month, uh, playground editors picks as well we're going to pick some of the best stuff and really make sure that bubbles up to everybody um, and that's where you want your, your route uh, to be uh, once you've shared it with everybody yeah Forza has got such a great history of really supporting the, the creative elements of your community right you know with uh, the paints and the decals now it feels like route creator is really going to is going to give rise to a whole new creative community within Forza, right? I, I totally agree, but I, I do think it's a two-way street, you know, like, w yes, we support them, but we also have this incredibly creative community um, who spend so much time, um, you know, creating things and giving back to the community at large that I have such high hopes for this particular uh, tool. I have such high hopes for the content that people are going to go out and really thoughtfully, really, really imaginatively create and share um, that, you know, after those first four weeks when and uh, there's a ton of stuff in the game that people are going to be uh, contenting themselves with and working their way through. Once our, our creators start coming onto this and creating surprising, unexpected uh, events for people to, um, to to play, I think there's like limitless content within this game, uh, thanks to them. Yeah. And have you got any inspiration for any aspiring route creators out there? Like, is there is there a route that you would create personally? So. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to do this because, uh, well, for reasons. Uh, but uh, um, I, I do think there's a there's an assault course route that you could do where you only place checkpoints on buildings, and it becomes less about speed and more about problem solving. The other one that I want to play is a single checkpoint race where you go out, you know, maybe to the other side of the map, turn around, and come back, and basically it's as the as the crow flies. I think people are going to have a lot of fun with those as well. But you know, that's a, that's two ideas. I know that the community will have uh, a ton more, uh, and I really can't wait for this to drop as part of the second update. Ralph, it looks amazing. Thank, Thank you so you. much for showing it in depth. That's brilliant. Uh, and I can't wait to try out your ultimate cross-country scramble. That sounds fantastic. Sure. All right. Appreciate it, mate. Right. Stick around after Inside Xbox for Xbox Live Sessions. Julia Hardy will be playing Forza Horizon 4 with some huge guests, literally in some cases. Cody Walker, the mountain from Game of Thrones, and world number one skateboarder 